You may have noticed more bird activity during the last few weeks. Some are returning from their winter migration while others have been enduring the main winter. Spring is the time of year when eggs are hatched and chicks are born. The museum's springtime coastal scene and the Back to Nature exhibit gives us an up-close view of just a few of the many types of nesting birds along Maine's coast. The cormorant, with its four-foot wingspan, is a coastal bird. The great cormorant is here year-round, but the double-crested cormorant is returning to this region after wintering in the southeast United States. Feeding on small fish, the islands along the coast of Maine are ideal nesting spots for the 9,800 pair of double-crested cormorants. After building nests of twigs, vegetation, and seaweed, an average of four bluish-white eggs are hatched in about 30 days. Both parents feed the babies for three to four weeks until the young can leave the nest. You'll see herring gulls everywhere. They are Maine's most common and adaptable gull. Bowl-shaped nests constructed of surrounding vegetation are often built in the same location. Nests can contain up to three eggs. The light green speckled eggs are two by three inches. Oval eggs not only fit nicely in the bird's body, but are also less likely to roll out of the nest. Both male and female cliff swallows begin construction of grass and mud nests in early April. You'll find nests containing three to five eggs on vertical walls under an overhang. After about two weeks, the eggs will hatch and both parents will care for their young until they are ready to fly 25 days later. The coastline is also the location for a large sandpiper called Greater Yellowlegs. A nest on the ground made from grass or leaves might contain four eggs. Both parents protect the eggs for about 23 days. The young leave the nest soon after hatching. Look up on a coastline ledge and you might find both Guillemont parents incubating an egg. The shape prevents the egg from rolling out of the nest. Once hatched, the newborn receives lots of fish from both parents and after 15 days, the common Guillemont youngster will leap off the cliff and glide toward the ocean. Birds carve out their own habitat with enough food, water, and space to raise young. With so many birds around this spring, it's easy to overlook all the factors involved in nest selection, construction, egg attention and protection, as well as the training and feeding of newborns. Maybe if we take a minute out of our busy lives to do a little bird watching, it might give us a better appreciation of our feathered friends.